Hi everyone. Today I will be going over the new features for the search product management content using the Redwood user experience. So what does this do? The new features provide the ability to make the item search significantly more efficient. You can now download up to 10,000 entries and export them directly onto an Excel spreadsheet. You can also filter through thousands upon thousands of items in a split second. You can refine your search with multiple filters, and you can also create saved searches. So what is the business value? These new features benefit your business by making the item search a lot faster and a lot more efficient. It makes sharing the items from Redwood a lot easier. And now you can connect Fusion with Redwood. I will be going over all of these new features and their business value now in the demo. Today, we will be going over the product management search using the Redwood user experience. There are some new features I'd like to go over and there are some existing ones in Fusion that are being carried over to today. In this demo, we will be using item search, but the same search techniques applies to other objects as well. This is the common search page. For today's demo, I will be going through the entries in the item search, but there are other options such as manufacture and proposal. This page has a really fast switch over, but for today's demo, we will be focusing on item. As we add more objects, there will be additional entries. First, I will show you how you can access the search through the environment that you're working on. Once you log into your environment, you will be led to this landing page. From there, you can scroll over to the product management tab as seen up here and select either the product information management tile or the product development one. For this demo, I'll go ahead and select product information management. Once you select this, this will lead you to the Fusion dashboard. Once you're here, click on the tasks icon on the right hand side of your screen, which will expand and show a bunch of different options you can select based on what you want to work on. For this demo, however, I will scroll down to product management experience and select search products. By selecting this, you will be redirected to the search page. And from here, I will be going over the new features we have in this demo. Now that you're on the search page, you see a bunch of different features the users can play around with to finish their task. This up here is the search box. The search box allows users to search for any searchable attributes such as item class, primary unit of measure, and organization. You can also search based on the item name. The view is what determines what attributes are searchable, but this will be covered in a different demo. I can search up these entries based on item number. So for example, I can go ahead and search up AS1 and all the items that have AS1 show up. Also, I can search items up by their description. So I'll go ahead and search up Sleepy Cat and these entries pop up. In less than a second, the search is able to filter through the quarter of a million entries and show you the results. In a similar manner, when I clear the search, the same amount of entries pop back up in a blink of an eye. There are two new features for the search box that I'd like to go over and they're called auto completion and auto suggestion. Let's go over auto suggestion first. When I type in AS1 in the search box, a bunch of different entries pop up. This is the system suggesting the entries that I might be interested in. As you can see, as I typed in AS1, AS1 is bolded on every entry in this search. Let's go over auto completion now. If I were to type out AS1 like I did before and look at the auto suggestion, pretend I was interested in this first entry that pops up, AS18947. That's a lot of numbers, but what you'll see is if I type in eight, the system knows what I'm talking about and basically completes the entry for me. From here, I don't even have to type out the whole number. I can just click enter and I'll see all the item numbers pop up. You may be thinking, I did my search. How am I supposed to refine it now? Continuing with the results from AS1, I will show you how you can refine your search results. Below the search bar are a bunch of different filter chips which help tweak the search results. The filter chips that are shown below the search bar are the filters that have been activated in the search view. When you select these filter chips, 
you can type in the filters you want to sort the entries with. For example, I want to find all the entries that have EA as the primary unit of measure. I don't want to have to go through all 24 of these and count how many have EA as their primary unit of measure. So what I can do instead is click on this filter chip right here and select EA. Once I click out of it, it automatically updates and shows me all the item numbers that have AS1 in them that also have EA as their primary unit of measure. Another way you can access these filters is by using this filter button right here. This opens up the filter drawer and this helps you refine your searches even more. You can apply as many filters as you'd like at once. So let me give you an example. I've already filtered the AS1 items by their organization V1. But what if I wanted to see the AS1 items that also have their organization as M1? I can select that filter chip and click on see results and what I see are now 12 items that start with AS1 that have organization codes of either V1 or M1. Once you're done with your search, you can click on clear right here which removes the filters. You can also change what filter chips you'd want to use but for that we'll have an additional demo that will cover configure view and configure index. Moving on, I wanted to go over some new icons that weren't available in the previous release. This right here is called the column icon. It's on the right hand side of your screen. This allows you to select which attributes you'd like to show for the entries. If I click on this, I can go in and see all the attributes that are available. I can select and deselect them based on what I'd like to show. For example, I can go ahead and deselect this and it, it'll be gone. This is especially helpful when you want to search for presence indicators. Presence indicators are attributes that indicate if there's content available for it in the child object. The child objects in this example are has structures, has quality issues, has pending changes, has attachments, and has AML. To find out whether or not there are presence indicators available for the entries, you have to search for a black dot under these columns. If there is an indication, it will pop up as a black dot. For example, if I were to look at this entry right here, there's a black dot right here under has pending changes. This indicates that there is a presence indicator available for this entry. I've cleared the search. There's another feature I'd like to go over, and that is the saved searches icon right here. Save Searches allows you to store the criteria for searching so you can perform the same search later on without re-entering it. There are three different types of saved searches. System searches, personal searches, and personal saved searches. System searches are public for everyone to use. Personal searches are only available to you, the user, when you are using it. And lastly, personal shared searches are created by the user and stay private but there's a link that's generated, so when you share that link, whoever has the link can then use the same saved search you created. Saved searches store anything you've typed into the search box and the applied filter chip and value you picked. So let me go over how to create a saved search. In order to create a saved search, you need to have something in the search box and select a few filters. So let me go ahead and search up AS1. Let me select an organization, let's go with V1, and let me select a primary unit of measure as well. I'll go with EA. I have my filter chips filled out and I have something in the search box. So from here, I can go ahead and create a safe search. You go over to the icon on the right hand side of your screen, select it, select create a search, and let's name it. For this search, let me name it Sonia's test. I can select enable sharing, mark as default, whatever I'd like, but for this demo, let me just go ahead and click on save and apply. And there you go. I've created a saved search, which now whenever I select it, will automatically fill out these filter chips for me and fill in the search box. Once I'm done with the search, I can click on clear, which will remove the filters 
and I can go up here and remove what's in the search box. Now, if I wanted to go back to the save search that I created, I can click here and select save search from this drop down. So here are two more features that are new in this release. This right here is called a view. You can change the view based on what you're working on, but for this demo, I've been using presence indicator. I also set this view as the default for this environment, and you can change that, but we will show that in a different demo. Another feature I'd like to go over is this clipboard icon right here. Let me go ahead and select these two item numbers and click on clipboard. A pop-up will show up on the bottom of the screen, which says that these two items have now been copied to the clipboard. Now you may be thinking, what does the clipboard icon do? Let me show you. So head over to the Fusion dashboard and click this clipboard icon on the right hand side of the screen. Once you select that, you will see the two items that you had selected on the search page now on this Fusion clipboard. This is how we bridge the gap between Fusion and Redwood. Now I'd like to present the last feature for this demo. To make sharing these entries a lot easier, you can now export them into an Excel spreadsheet. To do that, you can select your entries, click on the download button right here, and the spreadsheet will download immediately. Just as a note though, the download is limited to 10,000 items. So once I've selected my 10,000 items, I can click on download right here. It immediately turns it into an Excel spreadsheet that I can download, and this is what it looks like. Today, I went through the basic functions of the new search and gave you an introduction of the new features. For more details, you can consult the help documentation. This is the end of the demo. Thank you so much for watching.